Apprentice to the Masters Adventures of a Western Mystic Part 2 by Peter Mount Shasta Chapter 1 Section 2 Now, Gangotri Baba was getting ready to consciously leave his body and join his master, who was no longer in a physical body. And I too longed for the same freedom from the cares of the world. For most of my life, I had felt like a stranger in a hostile and unfamiliar place. Let me leave the earth and go back to the place from which I came, I prayed. As it began to rain, I sought shelter inside the trunk of a redwood that had been hollowed by fire, forming a natural cathedral in which I could sit and meditate. Practicing the Vipassana method I had learned, eyes open and softly focused on the ground, I watched the clouds of my breath arise before me. As I began to meditate, I observed the rise and fall of my chest, the in-breath and out-breath, a silent mantra Siddhartha had used to become the Buddha, one who is awake. I felt the silent rhythm carry me into the stillness, where limitation dissolved as my consciousness expanded. The sense of I, me, and mine disappeared, thoughts slowing, and I began to dwell in the space between thoughts, where one had ended but another had not begun, a timeless lapse into unconditioned awareness. Then, like a bubble rising to the surface of a still pond, a thought came to the surface. The thought of the Ascended Masters I had read about while a guest of the Theosophical Society in England. I especially thought of the Wonder Man, the Master Saint Germain, who was active in the affairs of Europe for over 150 years and whom Voltaire described as the man who knows everything but never dies. I had read about him in Unveiled Mysteries. However, being sceptical by nature, I dismissed Godfrey Ray King's experiences with the Masters as too fantastic to be true. I now pleaded, Saint Germain, if you are real, and if you hear this prayer, tell me why I am here. Otherwise, otherwise, I will find a way to leave my body. I had been sitting inside the cathedral of the tree for some time, watching my breath and the rain dripping on the pine needles of the forest floor, when I became aware of a powerful current flowing through my body. The energy increased and I felt I was dissolving, everything seeming to shimmer around me. Two feet suddenly appeared in front of my half-opened eyes and I became aware of a figure standing before me. How long he had been there, I didn't know. I hadn't seen anyone approach. Because of the cold rain, the woods were deserted and no one could have walked towards me without my hearing a twig snap. Yet, here was a man standing in front of me wearing blue jeans, a suede jacket and tennis shoes. It was the white tennis shoes I saw first, planted firmly on the brown forest floor at a spot where my eyes were focused. Do not be startled, Peter, the stranger said with a calmness. I found comforting. Your prayer has been answered. To buy this and other books by Peter Mount Shasta, please go to i-am-teachings.com.